Uh, finally, on the House committee schedule especially, uh, we've taken up 14 different rules bills this Congress so far, bills that have actually come to the floor under a rule. Unfortunately, only, only one of those bills actually went to committee, meaning 13 of the 14 bills never even went to committee uh, to, to have the debate in the openness and the transparency that this Congress deserves. I think that millions of people across the country would expect that we would be having as we're shaping policy, that it's not just a, a one-sided approach, that if a socialist agenda is being pushed by one side, can't the other side at least have that discussion in a committee process, offer amendments. The amendment process is critically important, and that's been lost too often. Even the $1.9 trillion spending bill that over 90% of which had nothing to do with health needs, uh, not a dime of which was dedicated to safely reopening schools, which is a huge cry amongst millions of parents across the country. Uh, and so when not only one side, but frankly, nobody on the majority side was even allowed to offer an amendment, a $1.9 trillion spending bill, probably the largest bill that has come through Congress in the history of our country, and not a single amendment, Democrat or Republican, was allowed in the House on that bill to be brought forward. We were able to bring some amendments in committee. Every one of them was voted down or removed. Uh, not one Democrat that I saw was even allowed to bring an amendment up in committee on a $1.9 trillion bill. Uh, that's a major concern. Uh, it's a concern that denies the people's house from being able to express the will of the people when we have ideas and suggestions. You know, maybe for example, as we wanted to in the house to say, should a felon who is in a prison be able to get a $1,400 check? We weren't even able to bring that amendment up to have that debate. Uh, can we at least require that schools reopen if hundreds of billions of new dollars are gonna go to schools? Shouldn't the requirement be that they use that following the CDC guidance, following the science that's widespread that says the schools should be open, and long-term damage is being done to kids by not being in the classroom. Millions and millions of kids, maybe over 60% of the children in America not getting daily in the classroom learning, while unions are more concerned, saying don't post, you can go to spring break if you're a union member, but just don't post pictures because we don't want anybody seeing it, when they should be in the classroom teaching our kids. That debate never got to happen here on the House floor, and frankly, in most of the committees because these bills aren't going through committee and that one bill went through committee with the order clearly given not to allow a single amendment. Not a single amendment in the House was added to a $1.9 trillion spending bill. I'm sure some people might think that was the perfect bill, that not a single change, but sometimes the smallest bill has a change made that makes it a better bill, but not that bill. Uh, that's not who we should be as a House that kind of closed process. 13 out of 14 bills didn't even go through committee. And the one that did, the $1.9 trillion bill, not a single amendment by a Republican or Democrat in the House was allowed to be added. I hope that's not the standard. It's surely not reflective of what this House should be doing, and I would yield.